Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Xcode on your Mac machine. So let's get started. So first thing you need to do is you need to open your App Store. So just click this icon for the App Store. And once the App Store is open, just search for Xcode here. So I'm going to search for Xcode. And the first result here I can see is for the Xcode tool. So I'm going to just click uh, on the Xcode here. And here you will uh, see more description about the Xcode. So you can see the latest version or at the time of making this video is 8.3.3. And some uh, description is also given about Xcode here. And when you scroll down, you will be able to see some screenshot about the Xcode. Okay. So now before installing Xcode, you need to have Apple ID uh, for you to in order to, uh, you know, install Xcode. So if you don't have your Apple ID, then you can create one by going to this website. I'm going to open my browser and here you can see the website you just need to go to is uh, developer.apple.com. So you just need to open developer dot apple.com and on the top you can see some tabs here you just need to uh, click on this tab which says account so just click on this account tab and you just need to click create apple id if you don't have any id and if you already have id you can sign in with your apple id okay so let's see when i click the create apple id a button let's see what happens so you can see uh, it will give you this kind of uh, form and you just need to give your uh, first name and last name and then the country and the date of birth and your uh, email id and password and some security questions you just need to answer and then your apple id will be created and then you can sign in with your Apple ID. And once you are logged into this developer.apple.com with your Apple ID, you will be able to see this kind of interface here, right? And in the download section, just click the downloads uh, uh, section here. And you can see the latest table version uh, right now is 8.3.3, which is also shown in the App Store, right? Uh, there is also a latest version for the beta version which is version 9 but we are going to install this 8.3.3 version right so i just wanted to show you this so now i'm going to just minimize my browser and i will go to the app store once again and here i just need to click this button which says get and once i click get then I can see this option which says install app. So I'm going to just click install app. And once uh, I click install app, uh, it will ask me to give my Apple ID and password. So here you just need to give your Apple ID which you have just created. And then you just need to give your password. So I'm going to give my password here. And once you give your uh, Apple ID and password, you will be able to see this installation is started, right? So first of all, the Xcode will be downloaded onto your Mac and then it will be installed. So when you see on this launch pad, you will see that uh, this uh, Xcode file is about 4.54 GB. So it's a big file. So it will need some time to download. So just wait for this download to complete and then it will start installing. And when I just uh, launch the launch pad, you will be able to see this uh, downloading process here, right? So right now uh, 46 MB is downloaded out of 4.54 GB. So I'm going to pause the video and once it's uh, downloaded, it's going to start installing automatically so you don't need to do anything so just leave it as it is and i will see you after some time uh, after waiting for the download to complete uh, i waited around one or two hours for the download to complete i can see uh, that the installation process has been automatically started 
and it will take some time to finish the installation process so i will wait for the installation process to complete also so now i can see that the installation of xcode has been completed and when i uh, see in the launch pad so when i click this icon for the launch pad i can see that xcode icon is there so i can open the xcode from uh, the launch pad i'm going to just double click on this uh, icon for the xcode and then it's going to start the xcode and for the first time when xcode starts you need to agree with the license terms and conditions so if you want you can read all this uh, these terms and conditions and if you agree with these terms and condition you just need to click agree and then you just need to give your max password so i'm going to give my max password and then it's going to start installing the components of xcode so i just need to once again uh, wait for some time until these components has been installed so you can see the process is uh, much faster than the installation process so i just need to wait for a few seconds and then it will be done so now xcode has been started and uh, i can see this kind of uh, window here and now i can uh, create any of the application which xcode can create out of here so you can see uh, create a new xcode project check out existing projects and get started with the playground so now i'm going to show you how you can create your first c++ hello world program using xcode so let's get started and let's see how we can create our first c++ project using xcode and then i'm going to show you how you can compile and run your c++ project so first of all open your xcode and then we are going to create a new xcode project so click on this option which says create a new xcode project which is going to open this kind of interface to you now on the top when you see you will be able to see ios and watch os tv os mac os so what we want is we want to open this tab which is for mac os so just select mac os from the top here and then you will be able to see these options here now for c++ we are going to create a command line uh, tool or command line program so you need to select this option which says command line tool okay so mac os and then select command line tool and then click next and now you just need to give the name for for your project so uh, for example, I'm creating a hello world project. So I'm going to name my project as hello world. And then uh, you don't have any team right now. So I'm going to leave it as default. And organization name also I'm going to leave it as default. And now at the bottom, you will be able to see the language. So this is important step. You just need to select C++ here. Okay. So because we are creating a C++ program, so we need to select C++ here. And now we need to give the organization identifier. So just hover over the organization identifier and you can see uh, what this means. So this means your organization's bundled uh, identifier prefix, I think. So for, for now, I'm just giving CPP here. You can give anything uh, any name here as a prefix for now I'm just giving CPP okay you can give any uh, identifier here as you wish now I'm going to click next and now you just need to give the directory in which you want to save your project so you can uh, create a new directory for this or you can uh, just save it wherever you want so for example I want to I uh, save this project on the desktop and I'm going to create a new folder here and I'm going to name my folder as CPP okay and then I'm going to create this uh, directory and then select this directory and then just click create and this is going to be saved in my desktop on C++ or CPP directory okay 
Now, uh, I can see this warning, which is not very important, but uh, anyway, this says Xcode would like to access your context, and I will just say don't allow for now, and then I will just say okay, okay, and now uh, this project hello world is created for me and in this hello world project there is a folder called hello world which we have created which is the name of our project and then there is one uh, main.cpp file so i'm going to just double click on this main.cpp and you can see there is some program here so i can just close it for now and you can see uh, it's there also the same program is there also so when you double click on the cpp file it's going to open in the another tab and if you single click on this main.cpp it's going to show you this uh, file inside your xcode editor right now here uh, xcode is uh, intelligent enough and it's going to uh, create a sample hello world program for you right so i'm going to explain uh, what this code is so the first line of code or whenever you see this line of code these are the comments here so whatever which start with double forward slash is the comment and this is not the part of uh, the code it's a it's just for some information giving some information about the code right so you can even ignore these comments for now or you can uh, give these comments uh, it's on you right so comments are just the way to provide the information about your code now the first line here is to include iostream library which is a built-in library which is used to uh, you know provide you these method for example this namespace std and uh, for example this cout uh, method inside std right so if you remove this uh, library include then this code will not work right now this is the main entry point for your uh, c++ program so the main method so here you see int main and then in the brackets some argument for the main for now uh, for printing hello world you don't even need this but uh, xcode will uh, you know provide you the proper implementation of uh, main method so you i will leave it as default but main method is the main entry point for your code right and then std colon colon c out is used to print some uh, text so after std uh, c out uh, you just give these angle bracket double angle brackets uh, towards uh, the text and then you can just write uh, whatever you want to print so for example once again i just want to print hello world so i will just uh, fix this hello world i will remove the comma and then just save the code and once you are done with the code you need to compile your code okay so how you can compile your code so to compile your code you just need to uh, go to the product uh, tab here and then you can see the build option here so you can just click this option which says build and then it's going to build your program and to run it once again go to product and then click on the run and when you click run then it's going to once again build the program and then print the output on this console here which is hello world right now there is another option to run your code and uh, this option is this one which is like a triangle here triangle icon you can just uh, click it and it's going to build your program and it's going to run your program and show the output once again right you can just modify uh, this hello world so for example this is my first cpp project right and then i'm going to save this and then i'm going to build this program and now it's going to print the same uh, text which i have written there so 
you can see the same text is printed. So in this way, you can create your first C++ project on Xcode. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and bye for now.